Well, okay, here we go, fellow air gunners. Here is the uh, preliminary um, short video of what is to become uh, Cornfield and Crosshairs right inside this room right here in uh, my own personal garage out here in Michigan. Um, now, uh, this is a, a very exciting time for me. There's a lot of work that has to be done yet, but I wanted to give you just a quick uh, view of what's been going on and uh, how soon I'll be able to get things to come together so I can uh, fully launch the channel and get the uh, videos up at the quality that I am uh, expecting myself to be able to, to deliver them to you guys and gals. Um, so, uh, and that uh, we will be in a full, full mode, a full, full production mode and uh, uh, contributing to the greater good of the air gun uh, world. So, all right, let's go inside and take a look real quick so we keep this nice and short. All right, so, uh, you know, um, there's stuff everywhere, obviously, like most garages and places, but I do have um, a shooting bench here, the uh, Caldwell Stable Table, uh, with my tripod and my spy and scope here to go downrange uh, to the garage here, which gives me um, 20 yards. Very cool. I got the chronograph over here, on stand right here, crony. Um, and also I got a workbench over here with a couple of vices on it for guns. Um, moving along, we will have, um, always have warm heat from the wood stove that I have going today because today um, is around 32 degrees here in Michigan. Um, so then we move on to more flat spot over here. There's more bench here uh, where I'll have another gun vice up over here. I got my pegboard going up right here, um, which I'm hoping to get done today. And here I have some st stuff and things that I'll be putting together for guns and different configurations um, throughout this channel and these videos. Also, I have a young hang to hook up with, um, obviously, the uh, the purple oil, um, the expensive stuff. See how that works fall out for us. Um, and I'm planning on moving a bunch of tools and stuff over here, uh, drill, pass, drill press, um, grinders, and uh, so forth. So... Anyways, uh, over through here, the store will be the rest of the 20 yard range um, that I have indoors from the shooting gun. We open the slider here, and down range is the um, target, as you can see. Uh, I made this um, tar standing target here on wheels out of 3 inch steel and some ballistic tile uh, from um, my new friend uh, Jim from Precision Air Guns over in. Uh, the area, the Flint area of Michigan. I forget the precise name of the town. Search the D, I do believe. Um, forgive me for that, but uh, we move on. And um, so, and here is where the range is. Um, just to give you a little bit more close up of the target. Let me turn the light on here. So this was an adequate backstop for me to do the project and the things that I wanted to do. Um, as you can see, there's the ballistic tile, which I had adhered to the, um, uh, to the 3 8 steel. Um, and it's working really well. Uh, thank you, Jim, for the recommendation. Um, this is something I had to have mobile in my garage in this lane because this is a long garage with a 10-foot door that was for like a RV or something like that. So, but anyways, awesome indoor range I have. Uh, gives me the ability to not have any wind and other influences when doing a bunch of testing uh, for pellets and gun accuracy and all that stuff. So there it is. Um, anyways, I hope you guys are excited as I am because uh, Cornfield and Crosshairs will be something that's going to be uh, for all of us to learn together. I do like sharing information, and I do appreciate all those out there that have already been doing that, who have been teaching me a lot of the things that I didn't know about uh, the world of air rifles and all that goes along with that. So this is Corey and uh, Cornfield and Crosshairs. Here we go, 2020, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. See ya.